Hello, my name is Alice. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a big Asda food haul. I spent about £73, so it's a fairly large haul considering I live by myself. I do a lot of scratch cooking and also I've got a couple of food intolerances. So I'll just go through and show you now what I've brought. Here are all of the things to go into the fridge. So first of all, I've got some lactose free milk drink a Asta brand soya yoghurt, I haven't tried that, and then some beef sausages, I haven't tried that brand either. For vegetables, I didn't buy any fresh fruit, but vegetables I've got just three things, so I've got mild and tender spinach, one red pepper, that was 59p, crunchy peppery radishes, I think that was also 59p, I got two lactose free Philadelphias because they were only £1.25 each, and I got a lacto-free cheese and that was £2.50. Then there's also the, these lactose-free strawberry and banana flavour Greek yoghurts. Quite fun packaging, it's designed for kids. And then moving on to the freezer section. So I actually asked for frozen mango and they didn't have it so they sent me this tropical smoothie mix. So I thought I might as well have a go at that rather than send it back. I asked for mixed vegetables, they didn't have it so they sent me garden peas and I thought I could just stick with that. And I also asked for like sweet corn and they didn't have that, so they sent me mini, mini corn with hops, so I thought I might as well try those. Then I also got some meat free meatballs, I haven't tried this particular one but I know the same to these ones were pretty nice. Some frozen whole green beans and four meat free sausage rolls. I wanted to buy vegan sausages but they were like really expensive so I thought oh, I'll just get some sausage rolls. And then I've also got this stone baked thin pepperoni pizza for my fiance when he comes and visits. Look at how empty my freezer currently is. I've really been like using things up in preparation for this big shop. Okay, back onto the food haul. I bought these cornflakes, they were 75p, that's for some baking, and then this acid granola, I really like it, and it's only £1.75. Then I've literally run out of like these eight things. So smooth peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter, chocolate spread, highly recommend this one. I had completely run out of jam, so I bought this Morello Cherry Conserve to try and see what that's like. I'd run out of black olives in a jar, so I bought them. I'd run out of hot chocolate powder, so I got that. I'd run out of tahini, so I bought that. I can only find a little jar of this. And I'd also run out of these jalapenos, so yeah. These are things I eat a lot and I had actually run out of. So, big food shop was definitely needed. Now on to cleaning and household products. I thought I'd go a bit more summer vibes and I got this wild orchid scented floor cleaner and I've also got this pomegranate and raspberry surface cleaner. I was going to use this for the bathroom but it says antibacterial. Mm. I don't know, I think it'll be okay for the bathroom. And then a four pack of toilet paper. For like bread and carbohydrates I got this multi-grain bread. They didn't actually have the one that I originally asked for but this one was 15p cheaper. So it looks okay. And then also these which I am super excited about. Some chocolate orange hot cross buns and these were I think £2.15 so a little bit expensive but yeah super happy to I haven't had like a chocolate hot cross bun for years I'd say that's probably like my treat item out of this whole haul other things I eat a lot but I've run out of are Sultana so I just went to Asda brand and then some figs I think these are more than 60 and then this packet of pumpkin seeds. Okay, then I got three packets of flour. I think soda bread is quite an easy thing to make. Usually if you buy it in the shops, it contains dairy milk and it's not suitable for me. So I'll try making my own. And then white bread flour and wholemeal bread flour. So maybe I can try making pizza bases. And then moving on to long lasting 
small cupboard essentials so i've got two tins of pineapple pieces i think these were 71p each peach lighters three tins of these and they are 34p each so i think that's actually cheaper than buying fresh fruit these days a squeezy tube of tomato puree some mackerel fillets in sweet chili sauce so that's something new for me to try two tins of chopped tomatoes and it's actually different packaging even though they are both hasta and then three little cartons of passata they didn't have the really cheap asda milk that i liked but they said that if i asked for like 10 liters like 10 individually portion liters of asda unsweetened milk but they had this one which is out for it and they said seven for four pounds 97 which seems way cheaper than i've ever seen it before so i thought i'd keep that change that's everything that i bought i really like watching these kind of videos and i think they're quite easy for me to film so if you do like it please could you give it a thumbs up and bye